As people come together to enjoy the holidays with family and friends, there may also be an exchange of gifts. In fact, Canadians are expected to spend almost $900 on gifts this year, according to a Retail Council of Canada survey. But when the holidays come to an end, some purchases may head right back to the store. Retail advisor David Ian Gray of Dig360 says shoppers should research return policies to know how much time you have or if you can return it at all. I think the more careful we are in our research and the product we're going to buy in the first place, be it for ourselves or someone else, probably the better it's going to be for everyone involved. For some stores, there may be no returns for a certain period of time, such as during Boxing Week. And depending on the business, you may also face a restocking fee, especially if bought online. Retail analyst Bruce Winder says it's in part due to online shopping's popularity and the higher rate of returns that retailers see. Most retailers now are looking for ways to try to, um, I guess, uh, re-engineer re the processes and sort of the risk involved and the costs involved. When it comes to what you can and can't return, it's best to check with the retailers. But there are some items that can typically not be returned at all, including underwear, intimate items, skincare products if the seal is broken, and often final sale items. It's why Robert Damigala of Return Bear says if you're stuck with an item, consider passing them along instead of putting them in the trash. We always encourage like recycling of those materials or sh sharing, passing along of those items to uh, to, to friends, colleagues, uh, or those uh, you know who might benefit from them or need them, as opposed to just throwing stuff in the garbage. So as people share the joy of the holidays with each other, Winder says whether you're giving the gift or receiving one, know what to expect. I think the key message here is buyer beware um, and receiver beware. Sean Preville, Global News.